where do I start? There's so many things to cover off. Um, firstly, a heartfelt um, thank you and gratitude to everyone who's been here tonight and all the speakers before me. Um, there are, there's this natural energy that exists out into, into the universe and it's a thing that connects us as people. It's also the same thing that pulled together all the dust particles to form the big planets that we know in our solar system, in the galaxies and even into the metaverse. The Japanese and the Chinese know this as chi. And guess how it's spelled? QI. We are connecting the whole world through energy, but delivering it through technology. We have four key pillars in our company, in our technology. And the first of them is the blockchain infrastructure. We wanted to make it super, super easy to engage with blockchain. It's quite a complex world. I know, trust me, I've been doing it for three years. And, but one of the things we've done to make it super, super easy to connect with is launch our core product, and it's called Connect. With Connect, we are now running the Bitcoin node internally. So we are running the whole Bitcoin infrastructure in our technology. What that means for the future is that we can continue to build new types of technology on top of Bitcoin, so it makes it easier for businesses and other companies and developers to engage with Bitcoin without having to learn how does Bitcoin work or how does a new technology or how does this new programming language work. Connect is also designed to be blockchain agnostic. So while we are running the Bitcoin node internally, we are also compatible with other blockchains. These include the more popular like Ethereum, which has thousands of cryptocurrencies and tokens that run on top of it. We are already pre-integrated with Ethereum. The future of blockchain payments or blockchain money is going to be something called CBDCs, or otherwise known as central bank digital currencies. And CBDCs are very much part of our future. Um, some parts around the world are already not just exploring, but are actually delivering and um, you know, experimenting with uh, CBDCs. China, for example, have already released the digital yuan. Um, US, the US dollar is also going to become digitized, and so is um, the, the pound. So pound sterling will be digitized very, very soon. What we are doing with Connect is to ensure that not only are we supporting the current cryptocurrencies as we know them today, like the Bitcoins and the Ethereums of the world, but also forward thinking in order to future proof our technology so that companies don't have to worry about that. All of that allows us to go into the second pillar, which is the blockchain payment. This is how merchants can start to accept uh, digital currencies as a payment method, just as a regular payment method as it would. And the way we've designed this is a REST API. So we've used conventional web technology to engage with blockchains, and we've released an API. The API is called Synergy, quite rightly so, because it is designed to be white labeled by default, which means that any payment company, any PSP, any payment gateway, like the ones Adam was mentioning, Adam and Jack were mentioning a little while ago with CardStream, they are using the Synergy API to deep embed crypto payments into their infrastructure. We've made it super easy. This is designed to work for any developer, so any technology background could integrate with blockchain in an instance. We want to make it even easier for other developers to engage with our technology. And we've gone out to set out the next hub. It's designed specifically for web programmers, technology software engineers, who can use all of our infrastructure that we've been busy building over the last three or four years and now they can take it with a single API and connect into the blockchain. We work with and collaborate with other organizations, not just in the crypto space, but also outside, and to, in order to push adoption and educate where we can. Aura Vine, who are in the room tonight, were the world's first music streaming um, service on using blockchain technology. We're collaborating with them and working very closely with them to not just re-engineer their software, but also to redesign and deploy the native cryptocurrency, which is designed so that music artists can be rewarded with a native cryptocurrency. The benefit of that is immediately is 
musicians and artists generally may get 10% royalties if they're lucky, maybe lower. With Aurovine, they will get almost up to 85% back in their royalties. So true reward back there. Further afield, we're working with Unwired ISP. They're out in Australia. It was a bit too far for them to come here tonight. But um, what they are doing is democratizing internet access. And what that means is that in the, in the very near future, and this, they're already deploying this out in Australia, every resident, every homeowner could actually become their own internet service provider. Not only are we going to be powering the digital payments for them, but we're actually consulting very closely with them about how we can roll this network out across the world using blockchain technology. The others include Kit Out London. They're not in the blockchain space yet, but we're working closely with them with grassroots football clubs so that we can actually start to assess using blockchain technology about the performance data of football players. They are also talking about designing a native cryptocurrency, which we will consult with them on. Um, other collaborations include universities with the goal of inspiring young, young people, opening minds for new innovative technology so they can actually start to build the next future. The final bit, and this is one of them tonight, is our QI talks. We want to work with companies, we want to collaborate with thought leaders so that we can together as a community, as a collaborative partner, roll out new solutions together. This is not us necessarily uh, pushing our solution on to you guys or anyone else. We want to work together so we can drive new types of technology together. And that's why we will invite members in this room tonight, but others as well, to come and work with us, you know, hire a, hire a room, roundtable discussions about forward-thinking technology. Because the blockchain is here, cryptocurrency payments are here to stay. They are not going anywhere anytime soon. And I think by working together, we can actually start to develop new innovative technologies. <clears throat> 